Welcome back everyone to the Hello World guys, this is another episode of the Better C++ Mario series and if you remember in the last video we created a renderer class as you can see which uh, does some rendering quite efficiently, it's uh, pretty nice but uh, it requires of course a texture to render. Now uh, the texture that we are using currently if I were to go ahead and open up uh, my game.h class and open up uh, say the uh, render method for example, the implementation of that. You can quite clearly see that we are using a texture that we are uh, loading manually in here. Now we might want to use uh, texture in a variety of different files and classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class called resources which we'll basically use to store all of our resources. Now it's not necessary that you create a class for this since this is going to be a static class you can just use a new namespace but uh, I mean you, it's uh, your preference. I'm going to create a class and use some static variables. So let's create public here and uh, so uh, now we need to kind of decide on uh, what way uh, in what way we want to like store the textures you might want to say use an array and uh, using an array is uh, I guess fine but there's of course the problem that you will need to have integer like uh, you know, you'll need to have a bunch of hashtag defines or constants to uh, identify those values but, uh, but a much better way is to use uh, easy names for that and for that we can use a map now we can include map and we can create a std colon colon map here but what we will do is since this map the one we have here is an ordered map and uh, its efficiency is lower compared to an unordered map since we don't need our textures to be ordered we are going to use an unordered map and uh, that's pretty awesome so now let's go under public and let's create a static uh, std colon colon unordered map and the first thing we provide is a type of uh, key so we can have any key here for example a string here instead of uh, just uh, like having integers live in arrays and uh, it's quite efficient an unordered map so let's go ahead and uh, provide for the actual type name let's say sf colon colon texture and let's call this map textures uh, of course uh, we need to include the sfml slash graph graphics.h header to actually have access to the textures and uh, this works but uh, this will actually give a link time error because uh, our static variables need to be actually defined in some source file as well so what we'll do is we'll go here and uh, we will say std colon colon unordered map so we'll basically just copy the definition like that std colon colon unordered map and uh, for the key we will of course provide it with string and for the uh, value we will say sf colon colon texture and we will say resources colon colon uh, textures and we will uh, put uh, basically an empty initializer list and basically that would define this static variable and so that we can use it and get no linker errors so that's pretty awesome and now what we can do is uh, if I were to go ahead we can actually use this textures anywhere to access textures just like we want to and now what I can do is I can go ahead and open up for example my game.cpp file and uh, in here we are currently drawing using a single texture however we don't need to do that what we can do is first of all let us include the resources.h header and after we have included that header we can say resources colon colon textures and uh, we can use a string as an array subscript here and that works uh, fine with maps and it's pretty efficient if we have got an unordered map so you uh, that would work it should get a texture that's supposed to be called brick however uh, we actually don't uh, we are not actually loading these textures correctly so we need to decide on some way to load these textures uh, first of all though let me remove this hard coded texture object and we could have like a list of textures in the actual code that we could use to load them and by the way I'm going to change this to brick.png uh, and uh, that's alright but what we can do is we can just loop over all of the files present in a particular directory uh, compared to our executable file and use that. For that we will need the file system header and this is only available if you have got uh, C++17 so if you have got Visual Studio make sure that you have got uh, uh, both in debug and release you have got C++17 selected. If you are using some other compiler, uh, most compilers these days do support C++17 and you should be able to find uh, options on their website. And you can see uh, if we have not got C++17 it won't actually display that. So we can use this file system header to actually loop over a particular directory and uh, basically load all of the files present in there that are images. So let's do that. So what we can do here is we can use a uh, range based for loop and for each 
file and for the actual thing we want to iterate over we will use std colon colon file system colon colon uh, uh, directory iterator now a directory iterator will essentially quite obviously allow us to iterate over a directory and what we will do here is uh, we need to pass it a path as you can see most of the arguments expect a path and a path we can construct a path from a string it's castable uh, because the std colon colon path is a special thing in the file system thing so we will basically say dot slash resources slash textures and that is basically going to be our folder that we are going to store our textures in and we might have a resources slash sounds and a, a bunch of other stuff as well later when we add different things so for now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to basically e for each of this file now we might want to just uh, load through this file or something but this may be a di this is a directory entry which means it may even be a, for example a uh, I don't know a directory or something something else a shortcut or something so we will say if this is a regular file first of all if this file that we are using is a regular file and its extension we can also check the extension by saying file dot path which will give us the path quite obviously of the file and its extension is equal to dot png and uh, uh, you can maybe uh, go ahead and uh, put some other stuff here like uh, checking uh, uh, for jpeg file as well and any other formats that you plan to store your textures in and you can check those and what we can do is uh, we can uh, load those files like that so for the actual name of the file we will use the file name so we'll say file dot uh, path but we won't convert this to a string directly we will say dot file name so that we don't have any directory here and this is uh, actually not a what you would say a it's not a string so you can't just use it like that so but we can use a, a string here to convert this to a string and we can use that instead and uh, of course uh, we want to load this texture and uh, by the way a map will automatically create the file whatever it needs and this is a getting a bit long so to organize this a bit better what I'm going to do is uh, create some curly braces here so that it's just more readable so let's do that and uh, you can see that uh, it works so let's go ahead and do that file dot path dot uh, uh, let's say uh, string yeah we'll just use the string directly instead of using uh, the actual file name since we are loading uh, the file from that path and uh, but for the actual name that we want to reference it with we don't want to have to provide the actual path we did make a little bit of a mistake here you can see that we need to actually use or here and put these two inside of a bracket so that we uh, actually allow it to be either one of these it can't be both of course at the same time so this should essentially uh, do what we want it to do in the correct manner if i compile and run this application what you should see is that uh, we do indeed get our brick dot png correctly in the center of the screen just like we had in the previous video and I have also added a mario dot png there and I'm going to check that out as well so what I will have to do is I will have to make this uh, a bit smaller so I'll have to make this two and that something like four because uh, the, the dimensions of that are different so I will just go ahead and do that to make it a bit better because the mario is like uh, you know the upgraded one I don't know really so you can see yeah we get that as well which means all of the f uh, now how many um, mat no matter how many files you put in there all of those will be loaded correctly and if you put for example a text file there that will not be loaded because its extension will be different so yeah this is pretty much it for this video and uh, I'm going to end it here and in the next video we'll get started with combining all of the s uh, small components that we have created to, to create some more interesting stuff like uh, rendering an actual map so we'll do that in the next video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, share this video with other people as well. I'll see you in the next one and bye.